Hello boys and girls, my name is Thomas Murray, and on behalf of Walker Media, I will be telling you a story about the history of the Rose Bowl located in Pasadena, California. Now the Rose Bowl has a rich history. The stadium is 99 years old and is known as the granddaddy of them all. This stadium has held so many Super Bowls over the years, but of course, this stadium has been home to so many triumphant concerts and of course Olympic Games. In this story today though, I will be talking to you about the Super Bowl history that the Rose Bowl has hosted over the years. Now, the Rose Bowl has not hosted a Super Bowl since 1993 and is currently home to the UCLA Bruins, but let's not forget about the important history that the Rose Bowl has brought over the years. UCLA defensive back Alex Johnson believes the Rose Bowl is full of great history and that it runs deep for the city of Pasadena. For Johnson, he remembers walking in the Rose Bowl for the first time as one of the craziest moments in his life. Just walking into the stadium, you get that smell of the grass and you look around all those seats in the stadium, said Johnson. The Rose Bowl can hold a capacity of 90,000 and Johnson loves playing in the atmosphere of a sold out game. Now while the stadium is home to UCLA football, let's not forget about the span of, of 16 years from 1977 to 1993. The Rose Bowl hosted five Super Bowls like iconic games in Super Bowl XI which hosted the Oakland Raiders against the Minnesota Vikings. This would be John Madden's first ever Super Bowl with the Raiders. And of course, in 1980, we had Super Bowl XIII between the Los Angeles Rams and the Pittsburgh Steelers. While the Rams would end up losing to the Steelers, that did not stop lifelong Rams fan Sal Martinez from letting this be one of the greatest moments in his life. And I quote, even though the Rams lost to the mighty Steelers, the Rams gained a lot of respect from the fans all over the NFL. That was probably the gr my greatest memory of the Rose Bowl, said Martinez. And this game would go on to be one of the most memorable games of Martinez's life. Now, Martinez has been a fan of the Rams since he was 7 years old and he is actually the owner of the Golden Ram Barbershop located in Westminster, California. The shop is dedicated to the Los Angeles Rams and all of their history. Martinez believes that the Rose Bowl would always put on a great show whenever it hosted a Super Bowl. Now speaking of great shows at the Rose Bowl, how can we not forget about the halftime shows that have gone on there? In 1977, the Walt Disney Company presented It's a Small World at the Rose Bowl halftime show. And then in 1993, we had the iconic Michael Jackson's halftime show in which he performed the song We Are the World. Now in the summer of 1992, we had the Watts riots going on in Los Angeles and it was the first sign of unity that we have seen in a long time in the Los Angeles area as Michael Jackson had a group of children from all different ethnicities come together and sing with them on stage We Are The World and this was a great point in time and while Jackson's performance at the Rose Bowl was unforgettable. Former UCLA and LA Rams kicker Frank Corral describes playing in the Rose Bowl as a dream come true. In, 19, in 1980, Frank Corral was the kicker for the Los Angeles Rams in that Steelers matchup that I mentioned earlier. You know, Frank describes playing as the, in the Rose Bowl as a dream come true. And I quote, you lead the league in scoring your first year, you make all pro and then in the second year you go to win the Super Bowl, Corral would say. Although Corral never won a Super Bowl, he believes that just being able to play there and play in the stadium that has never hosted an NFL team is a dream come true. And while there has been so many great moments that have gone on at the Rose Bowl, we can't forget about its great history and everything that it's provided us in the Pasadena area. Los Angel the Los Angeles area is home to seven Super Bowls, two of them played at the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum, and five have been played at the Rose Bowl in Pasadena. And on February 13, 2022, the Super Bowl will once again return home to LA and while the game is not being played at the Rose Bowl, it's always important to remember the history and the legacy the Super Bowl left in Pasadena.